horses, and as you'll see today, they cheer for each other, they're here for each other, and they're just trying to make the most of this opportunity. Yeah, Abby, it's one of the largest rosters out here. If there's any broadcasters watching, they can sympathize with, with us getting ready for this. 19 different guys on this roster. Because you don't have a designated guy in the box out. You've got to turn, look, locate someone, and put a body on. They row the third leading rebounder out here. He's going to knock down a three, now come back with a 17 footer. Nine points for him. Bones! Oh! Gives you more time to set up a play and get a good better shot. 2.8 on the clock. Bones Highland launches a three. No good, buddies. League squad, but there, just not a heady play. Minimal mistakes. And those put more space in this game with all the turnovers from Denver, but points. And it may be a two-point game at the half. Exactly. And it is. And they got a, they got a potential of good one. You, know? you watch this young man at level of maturity. He goes up strong, but right there was Amarui. Burton gets it. No whistle after the contact. Highlands with two on the show. Interviews and introductions over conference call via Zoom. And I just love that he said, I put on a suit and tie for every single one of those interviews. That was a job interview, and I wanted them to know that I am a high-character kid. Yeah, this is part of his book and development. Two seconds of the shot clock. Oh, no. That's, oh, no. <laughs> Highland in transition. Agent consultant with... Charles Class can be helping out Michael Malone a little bit this year. And his son making an impact on the Houston Rockets team. 5.32 to go, fourth quarter. Bones Highland has it. His team's down by eight. Yes. I'm going to flush it out in my own mind because I was confused for a second. <laughs> I got it. Denver has it. So Denver Allen, better go. We only Allen got 14. Yes. And that shot clock actually went early. And they reset it again. Look Bones. at Bones Highland. He's 14th of the game. Summer League record for a single game is 22 rebounds. Malcolm Thomas, Bones Highland driving, scooping, and... Neither team has a timeout. He missed them both. Bones gets the ball back. He makes up for blowing both free. Actually, that probably is going to cost him the game. He makes this. His team up by three. Four point lead. How about these young Denver Nuggets getting Charles Clask his first summer league victory and Bones Highland stepping into the role as primary scorer comes through with 28 points including some clutch ones down the stretch as Denver picks up its first victory this summer. Dallas remains winless. How about the performance by Bones, Sam? He was unbelievable, Jerry. He took over the game, especially in that second half. He controlled the tempo. He took advantage of the mismatches on switches. And when he didn't have that, he broke the defender down, dropped the passes off. Bones was unbelievable today. Look at Bones right here, Jerry. He comes off the high screen and roll, steps back on the switch, knocks down the three. Then he drives, uses the, uh, the basket as a defender, kisses it off the bass, comes back down in transition, Lines up a three, and this is the play right here I love. Breaking down the defender, lining him up, step back three, and then the kiss off the glass on the mismatch, and here's Bones Holland celebrating right here. Yeah, he has put this game to bed for the Denver Nuggets and helped them earn their first victory in the summer league. 28 points, 9 of 17 from the field, 5 of 8 from 3, 5 of 7 from the free throw line, and he's with Abby Chin. Absolutely here with the hero of the game, Bone. <laughs> Showing you've got onions as well. What was going through your mind the second time you stepped to the free throw line? Oh, man, I was supposed to make the first one, but second time I'm like, I got to put it away. There's no way I can go up there and miss two more free throws. But I thought the two, the first two was good, but it's all good, though. It happens. I got it back. I made a play and ended the game. Charles Class told me they wanted to put the ball in your hands for yeah. this game today, and you took over in the fourth quarter. Yeah. What was your mindset? Uh, you know, just go with Coach Sage, uh, honestly. When I go out there and the ball's in my hands, I feel like we good. So uh, I took advantage of, you know, all the switches and, you know, the, the spacing, and I just made plays. Bones, you guys have had a rough start dealing yeah. with all of the COVID issues. Oh, How special is it to finally get this win? Uh, it means a lot because uh, I honestly couldn't sleep well because I'm not, I am not—I don't like to lose. So I'm like, today, I'm not leaving without, without a win. We got a win today. And uh, I stuck with that. And, you know, all credit to my teammates. And we came out and won. They made big-time shots. That is something Charles talked about, the character of the guys on this team. Yep. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's high level for sure. I feel like everybody, like, just so happy all the time. You know, everybody wants to see each other win. And uh, when, you, when you got a team like that, you go a long way.
Bones, what are you taking away from this experience, especially the way that you took over in this game? Uh, just, just taking away everything, honestly. You know, how the coaches are coaching, what I see out there, and uh, trying to translate it into all the way to the season. Congratulations. Thank Great you. I appreciate game. that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jared, I'll send it back to you. The 26th pick in the draft had 28, including clutch buckets down the stretch, and it looks like.